What is going on, guys? Hey, I wanted to give you guys another framework. And uh, this the reason I came up with this is somebody had reached out to me and <clears throat> they had uh, you know, no success. They had been working in uh, an area of unclaimed funds or surplus funds. And they had done their research on it. They had taken a course and had been trying to work in this field um, for, well, for about three years and had not closed one deal. And they weren't doing this full time. They were doing it part time. And so I said, well, that's that's crazy. You know, I mean, it's great that you're continuing to try to work, but there's got to be something glaringly wrong that has gotten you to this point where you've never closed a deal. Um, but kudos to you for continuing to try and to trying to figure out. And and he had tried uh, different sources, different states, different places. And the problem was a lot of these sources that he was cho that he was choosing were in pretty competitive markets. So the different courses that are out there, they they teach to certain markets. And so he was working in those markets and would reach out to people and would have conversations with people, but could never close them. And so after a couple of minutes of, of me talking to him, asking a few questions about you know, his process, what the conversations were about, it became obvious to me that he lacked clarity on his offer, on what he was doing. And I'll tell you, it really resonates with somebody. It doesn't matter how skilled or unskilled they are. If you're not clear on how you can help somebody or you're not clear in what you do or, or what the next steps are in any part of that value chain, it's going to come out at some point. The longer your conversation, that prospect that you're talking to, they're interviewing you. You're interviewing them, they're interviewing you, and they're listening for certain you know, you know, just just something that that tells them, okay, this person knows what they're doing, and they're going to be able to help me, and I trust them. So, I mean, usually, the hardest thing to do is to get them to even talk to you. Um, in in this era of so many scams and people calling about all kinds of reasons um, that aren't necessarily good for them, when you get somebody on the phone and a actually having a conversation with you, as this guy was, he was he was having full on conversations. They really liked him. He couldn't just get it done. So the framework, um, of course, I've got you know some alliteration going. It starts with clarity. You have to have clarity in your process. If you've never closed a deal before, then what you need to do is to know from A to Z what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. If, you're, if you've got somebody along your value chain, if you've got an attorney that you're working with, you know what that person's going to do and how they're going to be paid. And really, that was a disconnect for him. He didn't. He wanted to work with an attorney uh, for these this certain type of funds that he was working, which is great. Definitely advise that. Um, it, it's helpful. But that attorney had told him, great, yeah, you're going to get paid your fee, and I'm going to get paid my fee. And I said, well, what's his fee? And he didn't quite know. He's like, well, it might be 25%. It might be 30%. And I said, well, that's going to be stacked on top of yours? Well, I'm not sure about that. That's a problem. If you're not sure about that, because if you're coming in with an offer and you tell your client what it's going to be, and then somebody else comes in and says, OK, you have to sign this now, too, and you're stacking percentages, um, that's not very good for the client. And the client's not going to like you and they're going to get out of their contract and you're going to be stuck with nothing. So obviously, you got to be have clarity on how that breaks down. You have to you know, that's one breakdown. Um, other breakdowns that could happen is you just aren't sure how long things will take or, you know, and and, and just to give you some more information, he uh, went so far as to went to, to the different governmental agencies that that handled the funds and, and would reach out and talk to people and figure out, you know, who they were networking with them. Hey, if I get a case, uh, how does this work? He, you know, he did a lot of legwork and made some, you know, good relationships. He just couldn't get it done with the client. Um, and if you've got other people in your space that have done it longer than you, or understand this, have more clarity than you, guess what's going to happen? They're going to move in and, and take that deal. And that's what happened to them every time. Um, so you have to have clarity. If you have clarity in your process, 
if you have clarity in, in, in how things are going to work, how a client's going to get paid, how you're going to get paid, um, how the deal is going to get done, about how long it's going to take. If you know all this stuff, you've got clarity in that. And again, if you've never done it, you need to figure it out, research it. Then you've got conviction in how you're talking. That's the other C, conviction. So to be able to speak with somebody with conviction means you know what you're talking about. And it shows. People can read between the lines. They understand when you know something and when you don't. Um, you've been watching this video up until now. If you didn't think I knew what I was talking about, you would have clicked off, right? Or maybe it wasn't relevant. But if this is something that's relevant to you, just like I'm talking about money that could be owed to somebody, that's relevant, right? Um, they understand I'm talking with conviction because I've got clarity in the process, clarity of their situation. Talking to them, I get more clarity on their situation. So clarity is a big one. There's a lot of different forms of clarity, but you have to at least be clear on your process to have that conviction. If you've got those two components of clarity and your, the conviction and how you're delivering the message and how things are gonna go, you can then get a commitment from the other party. You can get them to commit to working with you, which then leads to the final C of closing, to close the deal. So the four Cs are clarity, conviction, commitment, and then close. It's it's simple, but not. <laughs> it's going to take some work. Um, you know, there's some programs out there like Asana, you know, which can let you go through and 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 just go step by step on your process. I would recommend doing something like that. Or I mean, you could just write it on a piece of paper, or put it in an Excel spreadsheet, or write it on Word. I don't care. You have to be clear on everything, and people skip over that. Especially if you've taken courses, well, they tell me this, they tell me that. You're going to, if you're working on a certain type of funds, read the law. Understand what that law is. You'll find things in there that, that you might not have known and that could be helpful to you. Things that may say, oh, well, I didn't know about this part. And you know what? I think I'm not going to work these funds because I don't want to do this. I don't want to have to, uh, you know, to a full disclosure agreement or whatever it is. If you don't know the laws, then you shouldn't be working in those funds. You've got no clarity. Remember, you're you're working with somebody that is trusting you to deliver on what you're promising. So if you have no clarity on it, you know, you might be able to fake it to you until you make it, but you also might get sued if you screw up. So make sure you're clear before you start. Uh, that's all I've got for you today. Hope this was helpful. Um, also, as I've said in my other videos, definitely join our Fun Sleuth group on uh, Facebook. It's free to join. Um, I'm not hitting you with offers or anything like that. Uh, it's just a community of people at different levels of this industry, unclaimed funds, surplus, all that stuff. I, I encourage you to join and uh, I will see you over there.